So maybe you heard about OBS Studio and you just can't figure it out. That is what this video is all about. This is Leslie Samuel here from becomeablogger.com where we're changing the world one blog at a time. And in this video, I'm gonna give you an introduction to OBS Studio. Now, before we can get into the nitty gritty of what it does and how it does it, first we need to know what it is. OBS stands for Open Broadcaster Software. And what it is essentially is free open source software that you can use for live streaming. Whether you're live streaming on Facebook or YouTube or Periscope, you can use OBS Studio to go live. And it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Now, with a number of these platforms, it's very easy to go live from your mobile devices. But how do you do it from your desktop or for your laptop? And that is what OBS Studio allows you to do. Now you can find out more about OBS and download it for free at obsproject.com. And yes, I did say free. And when you compare that to many of the other programs and solutions that are out there, it's a pretty good deal. Now, whenever I tell someone that I, I'm using OBS or that they can use OBS, if they have any experience with OBS from before, they always say the same thing. It is so complicated and I completely understand. The first time I checked out OBS, I downloaded it on my computer and I could not figure it out for the life of me. But I decided to study it and I spent a lot of time and watched a ton of tutorials and all that good stuff and it finally started making sense and my goal today is to simplify it for you so that you don't have to go and do what I had to do in order to figure it out. Now, in order to understand OBS, there are two main concepts that you really need to be familiar with. Number one, you have to understand scenes. Now, scenes are specific layouts for how you want your sources to be displayed. If that sounds complicated, don't worry. I guarantee you that you will understand all of this in less than a minute. So, specific layouts for how you want your sources to be displayed, and your sources are the things or the elements that you want shown on your screen. Okay, so you have your sources that make up your scenes. Now, to make sense of this, I want to look at four example scenes. Here we have four scenes, and in scene number one, at the top left, it has one source, and that source is my webcam. So, that's this guy right here. And then scene number two, over here to the top right, we have one scene with two sources. And those two sources are, number one, my webcam video, once again. And number two, there's an image that's on top of that video. So those are my two sources. At the bottom left, we have another scene that has one source. And that source is a browser window. And at the bottom right, we have one scene that has how many sources? Can you guess? Two sources. We have my browser window once again, and we have my webcam. So it's a very simple concept. The scenes are made up of different sources, and there are a bunch of different types of sources that you can use, and I've shown you a few here. Now, this is a part of a, a tutorial series that I'm calling the Ultimate OBS studio tutorial and our goals for this series is number one to familiarize you with the software i want you to when you open the software you know exactly what you're looking at number two i want to teach you how it works so that you can work it and number three this is the big one i want to make you an obs pro in under an hour i know that sounds like a tall order but trust me if you stick with me you're gonna get it now, to make the most out of this tutorial, I want to encourage you to get my free OBS guide, and you can get that by, if you're in the U.S., you can text OBS guide to the number 44222. Or if you're not in the U.S. or so you want to do it on your computer or your laptop, you can just go to becomeablogger.com slash OBS, and when you sign up there, you're going to get access to the free guide, and you're also going to be updated whenever I have new awesome content to come your way. And if you like this, you're gonna like that. If you like this, you're gonna like that. Now you can't see me dancing, but uh, never mind. 
Anyhow, thanks for checking out this video. In the next video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of OBS Studio. So go ahead and check it out. And if you find value in this and you know someone else that can find value in this, go ahead and share it with them. This is Leslie Samuel here from becomeablogger.com. We're changing the world one blog at a time. And until next time, take care and God bless.